Hi, everyone. Welcome to Vanish Chicago Land Stories, the podcast. I'm your host, Pete Castanis. This is episode 112, season five. And today's date is March 15th, 2022. And thank you for joining me today. Uh, today's episode, I will talk about a very old TV show that a lot of people remember watching in, in the early days in Chicago, which is The Cisco Kid. And uh, I will talk about my memories of watching the show and it's about the history of the show and its character. Also, I'll do a wrap up of last week's uh, post on my social media um, accounts on Van Chicago Land. But right now, the program will go into a commercial break. And this program is brought to you by Pop Tarts. And this commercial is from 1975, features Milton the Toaster. You know, this toaster talked to you when you were put your Pop Tarts in. I remember this when I was uh, very little. It was uh, very amusing. So here's the commercial right now. Take it away. A lot of you moms don't know there's a lot of good inside Kellogg's Pop Tarts toaster pastries. There is? Sure. First of all, there are six Pop Tarts inside. Six? That's good. And there's real fruit filling inside, plus a tasty pastry crust. Hey, that's good, Milton. And six vitamins and iron. Well, now that's very good. <laughs> you see? For snacks or as part of a good breakfast, it's good to know there's a lot of good inside Kellogg's Pop Tarts. Okay, everyone, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Pop-Tarts. Uh, I'm Milton the Toaster. <laughs> he, he's a character. He, he was just around in the 70s. Uh, I remember watching him when I was in grade school, high school. And uh, to this day, I still eat Pop-Tarts. I'm, I'm 58 years old and I'm still eating them. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. But I love them, you know, and uh, I like them with fruit, uh, you know, cherry, strawberry, blueberry, uh, chocolate, I like chocolate fudge. I remember when I was a kid. They made s'mores now, s'more flavor. Uh, I saw red velvet one time. I'm going to buy that. That looks interesting. But uh, it's a, they've been around since, I think, the 60s. Yeah, I believe so. Maybe the 50s. Uh, I think Nabisco made a similar product called Tostets. They were just like that. Of course, there was the other one called um, Pillsbury made Toast, toaster strudels. I think they came out in, I don't know, the 80s, 90s. I never bought those. So there's a similar pro, uh, similar products like that. But to this day, uh, Pop-Tarts are a classic. And I still, like I said again, I still love them. I eat them maybe once a week, twice. We're not in the mood to make breakfast. It's a guilty pleasure I have. Okay. All right. Today's episode, I will talk about... Uh, the Cisco Kid. Uh, it was a TV show that aired in the fifties. It aired for six seasons. And uh, but first, I will talk about uh, a wrap up of last week's post on Van Chicago Land. Uh, I don't have that many, so I I will start right off with um, first off. Uh, thank you for listening to my podcast. I had about forty thousand plays on my platform. And uh, I started this uh, almost a year ago. So I will have an anniversary show uh, probably maybe this weekend or next week. Uh, let me see. Uh, probably next week. Yeah, I'll do an anniversary show. It'll be one year I, I, that the part that they, my podcast was launched. I'm very happy. I can't believe it. You know, it's been a year after over 100 shows. Okay. First off... Uh, I posted an ad. It was for a, a Sears department store. I just opened. They had their grand opening in the Roseland neighborhood on 112th Street and State Street. Now, when I lived in Roseland for five years, starting from 69 to 74, I remember the store. It's not, it wasn't that big, but I remember it was on the corner. Uh, my, my mom shopped there a few times, but... Uh, and I remember there was like a garage. I think they had an auto center. I think they did. I don't think so. I don't know. It's been a while. And uh, that opened in nine, March 13, 1952. And uh, when I left the neighborhood in 1974, it was still there. But I think it closed a few years later. And then I remember 
they tore it down and then i think they had a taco bell and then that that was gone so and now it's an empty lot which is a shame because right across the street was the robert hall store the clothing store that building's still there but i remember my mother bought uh, clothes there you know and for me and my brothers when we were little bought suits uh shoes maybe shoes maybe no i don't think shoes probably cl- uh shirts uh coats you know it's good uh, they had very good products. Uh, that went out of business as well. I might do a podcast on them someday. Okay. And uh, next up, um, one of my favorite actors passed away a few days ago. It was William Hurt. And he was famous for Broadcast News, The Big Chill, Kiss of the Spider Woman, which I think you won an Oscar. Uh, the last movie roles he did, he was in the Marvel movies, and uh, I liked them, but uh, he looked like he had a dark side, you know, and uh, according to his sources, uh, he did. So I had no idea he was sick. I had no clue. And he died, and uh, he had advanced prostate cancer, which I did. And uh, he was diagnosed uh, in 2018, one year before I did. But I it, but I heard it spread to his bones, so mine was localized, thank God. And I don't know um, if he didn't go to the doctor or he just ignored his symptoms. Maybe he did. I, I don't know. But uh, I read somewhere and saw some videos that he did some some sort of st- special treatment that that involved chemotherapy. I don't know. Um, he said it, it, at the time he said that it worked. He was interviewed on YouTube, but uh, I guess it didn't. So he didn't live very long, and uh, he was seventy-one. So I posted that. I was very sad because I liked them, and you know, I told people, you know, if you feel strange and you have symptoms like going to the bathroom all the time, or or any other um, crazy symptoms, go see your doctor. Make an appointment. Have a blood test done do a PSA and uh, that would determine if you have something that I did that. I did that myself, you know, cause it was very high. And I, uh, the doctor suggested to go to, to do a biopsy. I got that done. And then I came back when I went back to my urologist, he told me I had that. I had the prostate cancer. So, and then uh, I don't want to go into that because that's a long story. So um, I had it removed, and I'm fine now. So I've been cancer-free for four months now. I'm going to see the doctor again April 27th. Okay, so that's so sad, you know, because he, he, he had a marvelous career. Wonderful actor. Next, Okay, next up, uh, yesterday was Pi Day. It's in P-I, not P-I-E, for the mathematical... Um, you know, uh, pro- you know, problem. I don't know what it's called. You know, and uh, it was a letter in Greek. It's P, not pi. It's a letter P because I learned that in school. And I posted a sign from Pop and Fresh, which is now Baker Square. Uh, there's only about maybe three in the Chicago land area. There were a lot of them, but they closed uh, because it was I don't know mismanaged. They're still in business, but uh, I wish they opened more. But I don't. I don't know. I don't see that happening. So if you're Hopefully you can go to one before they shut them down, you know, but uh, I heard they were bought by another company. So hopefully they'll, they'll re re-expand. I hope they do that. I hope so. And uh, the sign I put was raspberry. I'm not crazy about raspberry pie, but uh, someone mentioned sour cream and raisin. It sounded good, you know, and uh, of course, French silk. That's the best. I love it, you know. So hopefully I'll come back. Okay. And also yesterday I posted a something about Pi Day. This was called House of Pies. Uh, they opened in Chicago in the early 70s. Uh, there were three locations. Uh, someone also mentioned it was in Skokie, maybe. But it was in Elmhurst, River Forest, and Park Ridge. And they said it was very good. Uh, I remember briefly on that. I, I'm, this was based on ads in the Chicago Tribune. But they had them locations in California. They had them for a long time, and uh, I think they closed now recently, but they still have locations in Texas, I think in Houston. So if you're in the Houston area, you know, drop by and see. I don't know about their food. I don't know if they serve food. They probably do. So they, but a lot of people remember House of Pies, and they said it was good. 
It was very good. Okay. And uh, so that's it for the wrap up of this week of uh, my post on Vanishing Comma. Now we're going to talk about the Cisco Kid. And who cannot forget that TV show? Uh, that showed, um, let's see, uh, its original release was, original release, excuse me, September 5th, 1950. It was syndicated, so it wasn't on, net, net, it wasn't on the network. And uh, uh, I think the format was, it was in color, I believe, you know, you saw black and white. Sometimes when you watch it, it was black and white. I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> And uh, it ran for six seasons, 26 episodes each. You know, they were very consistent. And uh, so it first aired in Chicago, on, I think not in September, but late October. And I think it was on Sunday, Sundays or Thursday. They keep changing the times. And it was on WENR-TV, which was Channel 7 at the time. And then it changed to WBKB. That came from Channel 4, then it changed to Channel 2, you know, that story. And then it's WLS now. And um, that ran for a few years, and then it moved to WGN. And I think it aired at night or in Sundays. But after that, in the 60s and 70s, it moved to Sunday mornings. And it stayed there for years and years, you know. And it was paired with The Lone Ranger. So on Sunday morning, you would watch the Cisco Kid and then the Lone Ranger. What a combo. That is a beautiful combo. And uh, that the, the show starred Duncan Ronaldo as the Cisco Kid and Leo Carrillo, I hope I pronounced his name right, as Pancho. Okay. And uh, they were like the Robin Hoods. You know, they were like sort of like Robin Hoods, but uh, they were desperados and they were wanted for unspecific crimes and uh so yeah originally it was filmed in color it was filmed in color but they never saw when you watched it it was in black and white so later on yeah, throughout the years it did air in color but it's mostly it was black and white and uh it was seen all over the all over the world yeah and they dubbed it in foreign languages so a lot of people remembered the show okay so uh, right now, I'm going to play the theme song. This is the introduction of the show. And uh, as we all remembered, when we watched it on WGN TV channel in Chicago, and uh, once you start watching it, you, you're on your way to a wonderful adventure with those two guys. So here's the introduction of the Cisco Kid. Adventure! Here's romance! Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid! Okay, everyone, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the introduction. Oh, brings me back memories. Why I remember watching the show. The first time I watched the show was in the early 70s. Uh, it aired Sunday mornings on WGN uh, Channel 9 in Chicago. It was aired at 10.30, I think, and then All Lone Ranger. But the thing is, uh, I wanted to stay, but I had to go to church So uh, on Sundays. And my mom would get mad at me. You know, I'm watching television before church. Oh, she, and I forgot that. But I loved it, and uh, my brothers didn't get into it, but uh, I loved the show. I really did, and uh, sometimes I did, uh, in the summers I watched it. So that when you were, you flipped over to TV Guide and, and look at Sunday schedule, boop, there it is, the Cisco Kid. And uh, it was great. I love the show. Anyway, all right, I will talk about the history of the show, but its character Okay, and the actors that uh, and the actors that portrayed the, the Cisco Kid. Now, he was a character created by O. Henry, 
He was the uh, he was a sh American short story writer, and it was a, it was published in 1907 called The Cabarero's Way. In uh, it was published in a magazine called Everybody's Magazine. So I, I think it's defunct. So and uh, yeah, it that was published from 1899 to 1929, and uh, he was originally a murderous criminal. But then he was a, but later on in the movies and in the films and radio, he was a Mexican caballero and he was a, uh, he was heroic. So then uh, they made some films. Uh, the first movie they made, uh, the character was featured, excuse me, the, the character was featured in a silent film called The Caballero's Way. And, uh, Came out in 1914. That's a long time, you know. And uh, let's see. The actors that played him, uh, there were a few. Uh, the first one, his name was William R. Dunn. That was the actor. It was the first actor to play uh, the Cisco Kid. Next was uh, Vester Pegg. I never heard of him. He was from the silent era. And then a few of the movies was Warren Baxter. Warner Baxter. Excuse me. Warner Baxter. And then, uh, believe it or not, the, about six films, it was played by Cesar Romero, who was famous for the Joker on Batman. He was, I think I saw a couple films of him playing the Cisco Kid on TCM. He was pretty good. And then uh, Duncan Ronaldo took over. And then he played in a few films. Then it was Gilbert Rowland. He was a very famous movie actor. And then after that, uh, you know, they switched off. It was Gilbert Rowland, Duncan Ronaldo, all through the the forties and uh, the last one, Duncan Ronaldo played him in 1950. That was, I think before, I don't know if it was during the show or before. And uh, yeah, it was before, it was before when the TV series premiered and believe it or not, uh, there was a TV film called the Cisco kid that starred Jimmy Smith. <laughs> he played the, the Cisco kid and uh, Cheech Marin I think it was Cheech Marin as uh, Pancho. So <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I heard about that. I wish I see it. You know, I, I wonder if it's on YouTube. I could watch that. And then um, the the character appeared in radio in in October second, nineteen forty two, and uh, it uh, they had about six hundred episodes there from nineteen forty seven to nineteen fifty six. So you and uh, it was vo yeah, it was voiced by other people, and uh, so uh, you listened to the radio. You really did, and uh, and then of course it premiered in. And 1950 is the TV show. So, uh, so you had uh, Duncan Ronaldo as, Pan as Cisco, and Pancho was Leo Carrero. And uh, a lot of people remember their horses' names, and they really did. And uh, let's see, uh, the Cisco's uh, horse, uh, his name was Diablo, and and Pancho was uh, I forgot. I, uh, I'll let you know what it was. Uh, Loco. His name was Loco. Okay. Now we get that started. And let's see. Also, uh, one of the famous thing about the TV show at the end with, with those two guys at, while at the end of the show, they would be laughing. They go, Oh, Pancho, Oh, Cisco. <laughs> I love that. They would make a corny joke. That was funny. But it was fine. But, uh, and uh, that was uh, that was and that was famous for that. People loved that. And the the sponsor was butternut bread. Also, in the East Coast, I think it was Weber's bread. Uh, we didn't have Weber. I, was, I think it was New York. So we had butternut bread. And I uh, I found a I posted a photo yesterday, and they did some personal personal appearances in Chicago. They came to Wrigley Field and they had a rodeo. And they also appeared uh, probably at grocery stores or any venue they had. And people met them. And a lot of people told them they were very nice and they signed autographs and they were very kind to kids. So, and uh, while their real names were in mention, uh, that the real, 
the real names. Here is um, uh, uh, Pan, and let's see. Yeah, Pancho, uh, let's see, uh, they get mixed up like that. Pancho's real name was Fernando Miguel de Gonzalez. Okay. And uh, Cisco was Juan Carlos Francisco Antonio Hernandez. <laughs> that was based on a couple of them. But, you know, that they call themselves Cisco and they call themselves Pancho. Okay. Now, uh, the actor Dr. Duncan Ronaldo, he was... Uh, believe it or not, he was not Hispanic. He was Romanian. He was born in Romania, which is uh, very strange, you know. Uh, but he passed off as a as Latin, and uh, he played. He he was in a lot of movies, a lot of movies. And uh, he did some. He did radio, uh, television. Um, he also wrote poetry, you know. And he was a uh, very Seemed like a very nice man, very uh, versatile. And he died in 1980. He was 76. And, uh, you know, he had, did a few, you know, uh, he started with a couple movies with uh, John Wayne. So uh, that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Also, he did the movies for uh, The Cisco Kid. Now, Lee Carrero, uh, He's an interesting guy. He, he did some movies. He did television. But he was also a political cartoonist and conservative. Conserva I can't say that. Conservationalist. Excuse me. Thank you. And, uh, you know, he seemed like he was very active, political. Active, but he didn't do many roles. He did a few movies, a couple of television shows. And uh, he passed away September 10th, 1961. He was 81 years old. So, uh, so Duncan Ronaldo lived longer than him, and uh, people would come up to him and say, oh, there's Cisco. And we'd do the thing with a Cisco, a Pancho. They did that. So that was, you know, that show is still, I, I don't know if you see it on television anymore. I doubt it. But it is available on DVD. Uh, I don't know if the whole series is, probably. Uh, it's probably a uh, public domain, so you can check on Amazon or eBay. Maybe you could find it. And uh, so it's uh, it's wonderful to see a show back then. It was clean. It was uh, no swearing. The funny thing about it, they never used violence. They never used guns. They never, sh they once, never. They never shot at people, you know, they, but there were fights, you know, and uh, with the bad guys, you know, and they saved the uh, women from, um, from any uh, dire, you know, escapades like that or, you know, problems. But uh, they always, uh, they always came to the rescue, but never, no gunplay, hardly any gunplay, which is uh, very interesting. Okay. All right. So uh, that'll be all for today for this episode, episode 112. I discussed my last week posts on the Chicago Land. Also, I talked about the Cisco Kid, the television series uh, that it was uh, also it was shown on uh, on the in the movies. It was aired on the radio, and uh, I'm, I know they made comic books too. I know they published that. So. Uh, it's, it's a great. It was a great show. I loved it. Next to Lone Ranger, I watched it every Sunday on Channel Nine. Okay. Right now, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll probably do another uh, episode this weekend. We'll see about that because maybe I'll talk about St. Patrick's Day because it's coming up on Thursday. We'll see about that. So this is your host, Pete Castanas. Thank you again for joining me. And now we have a little traveling music from Ray Rayner saying bye-bye for now. So, so long, everybody, and have a good day. Thank you. We have to go. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>